Hello everybody! Welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today we are once again playing a Space Agency. And uh, today, today we are going to complete the current last mission here, mission number 37, Linked Ion Drives. Alright, so, so let's go straight to our briefing here. So, mission 37, Linked Ion Drives. Our objectives are to add a third solar panel and a fourth solar panel. And then we need to add the left ion drive and the right ion drive. And then once again, we must get the velocity into the green, right? So, to compensate for the new ion drive's lack of power, the agency's engineers have devised a way of allowing multiple ion drives to fire simultaneously any of these linked drives that are attached to the same power grid will fire together. A new test craft is under construction near the space station STA, completed by adding the final two solar panels and two of the new linked ion drives. Connect everything to the power grids. These new drive units are very power hungry. You will need to power down some of the unused modules in the spacecraft. Really? Okay. So we can find the linked ion drive in the station parts menu. Thank you for the hint there. So, so they've added a couple other things here. Interesting. So select one of the ion drives and fire it. The other unit should also fire. Accelerate the spacecraft into the green area on the velocity gauge to complete the mission. So for gold award on this mission, we must spend less than or equal to $26,500,000 and complete the mission in 20 minutes, zero seconds or less. Again, no checkpoints, just like always, but that shouldn't be an issue for us because uh, we are amazing, right? So we're going to try the exact same rocket that we had before. So we're going to use the Ariane 6 and the heavy tug and we have two of those good and then arian six boosters good and then we're gonna come over here small solar panel okay that's good why do we have five and one fairings I, I don't know why we have five of these fairings but you know whatever it's fine uh we have two of the heavy tugs which is good um Linkable ion drive, 76. Ooh, that's heavier than the other one, isn't it? 74. Okay, that's good. So this costs just about $13 million, right? And I believe it was 26 and change. Yes? Ooh, come on, stop doing that. 26.5 million. So I hate when you're scrolling in this window, right? You scroll down and then your finger happens to accidentally go over the X button in the corner. And when it does, it just closes the briefing, even though you were scrolling. So I, I don't necessarily understand why it does that. But whatever, it does. <laughs> it does. Um, so our rockets, this one, since we have 26.5 million, and this is only costing 13, just barely under pretty much 13. We're good. So we're going to launch it, go back, and we're going to create ourselves a second one because I love them so much. They're such amazing rockets, right? All right, drop that there. Drop the tug. Grab ourselves another set of Arian 6 boosters. Find another small solar panel. Get an N1 fairing. Bam. Next. Heavy tug. Ion. All right. And then finally, the fairing. Bam. All right. 74%. All right. We're good. So we're going back to our launch menu. Hitting our button. Five, four, Launching on three, four. Two. And you know, start. Three and a half. Or something like that. Off. And remember with this, where it's a nice heavy rocket, Tower make sure you go for like six or seven seconds here, something like that, to make sure it's actually fully up to speed. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. There we go. Be careful.
careful not to hit the back button, because apparently the back button is right there. I don't know why. Well usually usually when I'm playing a game like this on the phone, it auto-hides the, the button. I, I don't know. My phone's operating system updated, and I don't like how it's done things. So maybe maybe I can re-disable that and make it auto-hide the, the button panel on the bottom. The other thing that happened is... Um, when this new operating system update happened, it it like got rid of the ability I had to record internal audio. So all of Stage these seven. recent videos that you've heard where I'm recording the internal audio, uh, that's actually a separate system that I'm using to getting to get around Samsung's term terms of service here regarding the recording of internal audio. So yeah. It used to be so nice and easy. I don't know why they changed that. I don't understand, like, what they have against recording internal audio. I don't know. It, it doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. Uh, so, <laughs> we're in space. We're heading towards the station. And we're gonna, you know, just sort of set this thing in 180 degrees, get it right there. We're going to drop it um, right below the rocket and then go back and launch our next one. Okay, we're well outside of the station. We're going to slow down at like 50 seconds. Something like this. That should be plenty of time right there. I mean, maybe we could have even done like 40. Whatever. This is this is good. This gives us plenty of time. So we actually have some solar panels on the thing this time, uh, so we don't have to worry as much. Right. I'm just gonna park this thing right here. It's not going anywhere. We're gonna go to our new rocket. We're gonna launch it. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, Booster that was close. That was a little off. late pushing the button, but we made it. Tower cleared. About eight seconds seemed to be good for the last one as far as making sure this thing got up to speed before I started pulsing, so eight seconds. Commence roll program. Nice roll. Now remember this rocket is pretty top heavy, like we found out in the last one, so if you're if you're waiting too long, it actually like turns really fast. And you're set. gonna lose your angle. So you want to make sure you just keep it like up above the the angle that you're actually supposed to have there, and just kind of bounce it up and down until you get out into space, right? Probably close enough. We can just like boost the rest of the way. Approaching engine cutoff. Bam. Stage set. Out into space we go. There's all the junk. The junk's right behind me. Good. So I don't have to worry about colliding with anything on my way out, I don't think. The only thing we'd have to worry about is that stupid little satellite, but I think we're going to be able to get past it just fine. Yeah. Alright. So let's... Lock ourselves in the 180 degree position right here. I think we should be good on our angle. We should be good for the space station, definitely. But are we coming close to our other rocket? No, not really. Okay, so we're good on the other rocket. We're going to slow down around 50 units again. So like this. So we can just, like, completely stop ourselves right here now. Oop. There we go. Fairing step. Separate fairing our fairings. Step. And let's... Let's get our... Units in position like this. Oh, that is, like, so perfect once again. What about this one? 
Did, did I line this one up perfect too? Mm. Wrong way. Not so much. That's pretty good. Okay, so I think we're going to want to come over here. And we're going to want to power down that. Power down the... Um, whatever it's called, thingy. Bearing <laughs> step. Yeah, no. Alright, uh, let's... So let's send that one up there, just like this, and we can separate that. Fairing step. Get it lined up. Just about like that. Good. Alright, now... Alright, that should be good. Let's just move this one over a little bit and make sure we're all clear of everything. That's, that's probably about good on this one. And then this one, we're definitely fine. Check in here. You can move over just a hair. Oh, come on. Select him, please. Thanks. Alright, now he's moving up. Up, rotate, and right about here. Okay, that's probably pretty good. And then we can come over here. There we go. The station. Is the station going to be in the way? That's the question. for this thing. Oof, I don't have enough for... Oh, oh, oh. Power. Power. Right? Yeah. Okay. So. Rotate ourselves into alignment. And then we can go about figuring out what we need to disable for this thing to work. Ooh, is that no? That that should be good. released. That's, good. That's not going to hit. Uh, turn, turn the power on here. Let's see. Now our our grid is good, so we're going to turn that off. Turn that off. Should we turn the command module off? Let Let's go ahead and try this. Let, let's see what happens here. Okay, so we don't have enough. Uh, power the command module down, and then we'll see what happens. Yes, so now that we've powered the command module down, we have enough power to actually get going here. So... Now we just wait for like six minutes while this thing go <laughs> goes up to full speed, right? <laughs> I feel like I'm missing something. I mean, I, I have hit all of my object objectives. Yeah, I have. I just need to get it up to speed now. I don't know why I feel like I'm missing something. I really do, but nope, guess not. And here's the green. I wonder how long it would take me to get to max speed like this. Mission complete. Alright, and this is the end, currently, to the Space Agency game here with mission number 37, Gold Award, completed in 6 minutes, 39 seconds, at a cost of $25.9 million. And we now have wonderful ion drive mechanism things, so maybe in the future we can do some, like sandbox stuff? I don't know. We'll see. All depends on how I feel, what I'm working on next. But uh, for, the, for the time being, thank you all so much for watching. 
My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network, bringing you Space Agency. Have yourselves a wonderful night, everybody.